Biden's not the thing. Who? So special counsel report. Now, this one is going to get fun. Uh, not just my reporting on it, although that's fun, too. This one's going to get fun to watch because the White House is now mad at the special counsel, and the special counsel is kind of saying, well, you know, we, we said what we said. What happened? So special counsel finally came out with their report about Biden's documents sitting in his garage as he's pulling out his Corvette, you know, the around the same time that Trump got nailed for classified documents that they had to raid Mar-a-Lago for, um, and he had to go through all that court stuff for. Well, the special counsel report said, and I quote, Mr. Biden's memory was significantly limited both during his recorded interviews with the ghostwriter in 2017, with whom he shared classified materials, and in his interview with our office in 2023. We have also considered that at trial, Mr. Biden would likely present himself to a jury as he did during our interview of him as a sympathetic, well-meaning elderly man with a poor mem memory. Whoa, the fact they put it in paper, they wrote it down and they shipped it out. They continue, in his interview with our office, Mr. Biden's memory was worse. He did not remember when he was vice president, did not remember when he was vice president. Forgetting on the first day of the interview when, when his term ended, if it was 2013, when, when did I stop being vice president? And forgetting on the second day of the interview when his term began in 2009, am I still vice president? He did not remember even within several years when his son Bo died. And his memory appeared hazy when describing the Afghanistan de debate that was once so important to him. Among other things, he mistakenly said he had a real difference of opinion with General Carl Eikenberry when, in fact, Eikenberry was an ally whom Mr. Biden cited approvingly in his Thanksgiving memo to President Obama. And then he's done some other stuff, and of course he came out, he was all mad and hot. And in his presser, where he was talking about how mad he was and how, his, how good his memory is, he couldn't remember the saint that he prayed to after his son Bo died. And he also referenced, uh, mistakenly, the Egyptian president as the president of Mexico. And recently... He also said he had a full conversation about J6 with a German politician who's been dead four years prior to J6. This is the man leading your country. This is the man the Democrats have put all their hopes in. And this, this is what I'm going to say about it. If I were the Democrats, and this is controversial take, you might ask, well, what do they do? What's going on? But they don't know. So what do we do? I say, I think the Democrats should jump ship with him. I think make it public, make it brutal, run him over with the biggest bus possible. Because right now what they're trying to do is soft foot and figure out, uh, do they back him as a candidate for the next term? Do they leave him behind? How do they work somebody in smoothly? I say just burn the ship down. I think you'll actually gain respect from independents. Your base will vote for whoever you put up. It doesn't matter. But the independents are the ones that matter. And I think the independents would see if the Democrat Party actually unified against their own candidate and said, look, this guy can't handle it. We're done. Maybe even put forward articles of impeachment, 25th Amendment. Go it that way. Make it a spectacle and go, look, we love him. He's great, but he just cannot do the job. We've asked him to resign. He refuses to do it. We need somebody in who is competent. I think you'd actually gain favor. Now, I don't know if you could get all of, all of the Democrats in Congress to really get behind you. And it would put Republicans in a weird spot because then the Republicans, okay, do we vote for impeachment with the Democrats and look like we're just aligning with Democrats? Do we vote against it and keep Biden in and then they can use it against us that we voted to keep Biden in office? What do we do? I think it's a great play. Now, some people may argue with me. That's fine. But I think overall, Democrats, you've got a problem on your hands. You've got a real problem on your hands. And Republicans are trying to snatch defeat from the jaws of victory right now by setting themselves up against Trump. This is fun. Campaign season is fun to sit back and eat popcorn and watch it all burn. So enjoy. Enjoy.